So here's my pride and joy. It's a 1993, that's when the kit came off the line, uh, Kit Box Classic. Uh, it's running a Rotax 912S, 100 horsepower, and she's got an Ivo medium prop, which is the quick adjust. Uh, it's all wired up for the in-flight uh, electric adjust uh, option. I just haven't put it on yet. Uh, she's running uh, N-Fib floats. These are Aeroset 1100s. Um, retractable gear, obviously. Um, she'll get off the water with that 100 horse engine in about seven to eight seconds solo. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, cruise about 100 miles an hour, pretty well right on the money. Uh, you can get a little bit more if you clean up some of the struts and whatnot, which I haven't done yet. Great little airplane. Uh, you know, probably one of the most undervalued airplanes I think on the market right now. Uh, with the MFIB floats, the utility is incredible. Uh, mostly hard surface runways. You can operate off, off grass. Uh, I pretty well keep it on the hard surface. Uh, full length flapper on. Um, pull the flaps and she'll come in pretty well at 40 miles an hour in terms of a touchdown speed. Let's take a look inside the cockpit here. It's pretty basic. Not too much in the way of the instrumentation. No VSI, no artificial horizon. Pretty well just the basics. Uh, only thing of note is the electric prop adjustment controls here. Um, you've got a water rudder, so the retract on the water rudder is a simple lever up and down. You've got the retract for the gear, it's a Johnson bar, push the button, pull up, the gear comes up, push the button, push down, the gear goes down. So pretty straightforward, it's all pulley driven system. Uh, she'll fly with the doors open, so anybody that's into the Cub experience, uh, this is sort of uh, same type of thing. Open both doors up and then you can fly it. Uh, stick your head out and watch the scenery go by. Um, other than that, I'm not sure what else to tell you. It's tube and fabric, but a great little airplane. Empty weight's about 800 pounds on the floats. Take the floats off, put the Tundra tires on, and you've got an airplane that's 180 pounds lighter and just goes up like a rocket ship. Uh, I'm not sure what the the actual climb performance is without the VSI installed, but it's it's uh, breathtaking. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. A little foggy today, but uh, should burn off in a few hours. We're going up to a lake, Conestoga Lake, and do a little air-to-air -air 